Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica here at Dunsky Estate in Western Scotland. And today we are gonna talk about the two-hand half-kneeling shield cast. The shield cast is something that absolutely everybody should practice. Everybody, every age, no matter what your background, whether you play a sport or not. It does a bunch of really good things for your body. It forces people to stand all the way up. When people are injured and as they age, they tend to not stand up as well. They round forward, they deviate their spine in a bunch of ways. The two-handed shield cast is one of the most important exercises that requires the least space that can be done absolutely anywhere that forces people to stand up. Practice versions of this exercise every day for the rest of your life. We're gonna start by reviewing the standing shield cast. Whenever you learn shield cast, you start with two hands, you start standing. Then you go to half kneeling, then you go to kneeling, then you go to single hand. Let's review the most basic version first. Step up to your club, two feet point straight ahead. This is a natural standing posture. Most people in the modern world do not stand up well, so they will not do this part well. If you start with this part well, the rest of it gets better over time. Two feet point straight ahead, thumbs point towards the sky. Stack your hands on top of each other. Get down, pick up the club, Top hand is the one that we care about. Top hand is the one closest to the heavy side. Bottom hand underneath. Top arm supports elbow on body. In the beginning, people think that they are doing this, but they are not. You will see their hand be up too high and you will see this finger deviate. If this finger is deviated, people are not properly using their hand. They're not using their grip all the way. Get the joint angle at the correct height so the hand can do its job. Top hand will move past opposite ear. Shoulder moves towards the club. Club goes past the opposite ear. Rotate and pull forward. Over time, we're gonna get more and more and more swing in the back and then finish at the hip. In an effort to help people learn how to do this better, we change it. This is like any other sport. You will alter little pieces of any drill so that people can learn to understand it better. One of the first things we do is take it from the standing position to the half kneeling position. Pick your club up, rest it on your shoulder for now. There are other ways to do it later. Step back with one leg. Our hips are pointed forward. Later on in training, you will rotate the leg, but that does different things to your hips. Right now, feet are pointed straight ahead still. The legs are the same distance apart. Our hips are pointed forward. If we change the angle of our back leg, we change what's happening inside of our hip joints. Keep your feet pointed straight ahead for now. We are going to put our top hand on the club, the hand closest to the tip, as the hand opposite of the lead leg. This is gonna keep the handle out of the way of our leg as we are learning the exercise. The important part here is that our hip is not back. Drive your hip all the way forward. Most people will probably feel a stretch in the front of the hip when they do this exercise, just getting into the position. As we do a shield cast with the hands, it's gonna change the load on the hip. You do an equal number on both sides, that will help people figure out if they have one good hip and one bad hip. Most people have one good hip and one bad hip. Opposite hand is on top, bottom hand underneath, shoulder moves towards the club, behind the head rotate catch. Move the shoulder towards the club, but not the knee. Foot stays strong, knee drives out, Shoulder goes in, behind the head rotate catch. Elbow finishes on hip. Not hand too high, we want our hand to close all the way. Top hand, opposite ear, shoulder towards club, knee goes out.
elbow always finishes in the correct spot. If the elbow is out or the hand is high, it becomes very hard to hold even lightweight. Over time, you start with a lightweight and you gradually increase to a heavyweight. The heavier the weight, the more all of your bones need to be in the right spot. You should practice it equally on both sides. Set it on your shoulder, step back with one leg, step forward with the other leg. Drive your hip forward, feel a stretch in the front of your hip. Lead leg is opposite the high hand. High hand closest to the heavy part of the club. Bottom hand supports. Knee out, shoulder in, hand past ear. One of the other main mistakes people will do is they will duck underneath the club or not put the club all the way back. Eyes up, head up, chest up. Look out in the distance. Drive the rib cage down when you catch. Always finish with your elbow in the correct spot. Drive that hip forward until the glute is on. If you reach back and this muscle isn't tight, figure out how to drive that hip forward until this muscle becomes solid. Figure out how to squeeze that muscle. If you have back pain and you cannot consciously squeeze and activate your glute, you have found one thing that you can definitely fix to help you get out of back pain. This is a simple drill, but it is not easy. Everybody should be practicing shield casts for a large portion of their life. The second you learn them, you should practice them at least twice a week, more likely four times a week in some different way for the rest of your life. If you practice this exercise, you will stand up all the way forever. As people age, they lose the ability to stand up. As people have office jobs, they lose the ability to stand up. Students lose the ability to stand up. If your head is deviated forward and your shoulders are rounded forward, you should do every exercise in the shield cast family. Standing, half kneeling, kneeling, single arm, with mace, with club. You should practice until you can do it for at least 10 minutes without stopping. That means 10 minutes constant. You can change hands, there's a bunch of ways to do it, but 10 minutes is the minimum that you should expect from everybody, no matter what the age, no matter what sport that they play. This is a basic human movement. If you do 30 a minute for 10 minutes, you will do 300 reps in that amount of time. That means every muscle in your arm fires 300 times. Every muscle in your core fires 300 times you will inhale and exhale 300 times. Your glutes will fire 300 times. Health is a math-based system. Three sets of 10 is not enough, and you should not listen to people who tell you that three sets of 10 is enough of anything.